Hi everyone, my name is Anjali Silva Padovan and I'm a current college student going to Chapman University in Orange. I'm currently studying biochemistry, which is basically all about the chemistry of living things and how they work. Um, I love being in a scientific field. I love that I get to do hands-on work and experiment in the lab, and I love to be constantly learning new and current things. So I definitely recommend going to STEM in college. It's been really, really fun for me. And today I'm basically going to be teaching you a little bit about um, women in STEM, so women in the sciences, and I'm really excited to be teaching you guys about all of these brilliant and amazing women who are my role models as a student in the sciences. Okay, so I've switched to the iPad and today I'm going to be talking to you about women in the sciences throughout history. There have been so many amazing female scientist pioneers in our history, and I thought that in honor of Women's History Month this month, I thought I'd teach you about a few of these brilliant role models. So, as the title suggests, Women in STEM stands for Women in Science, Women in Technology, Women in Engineering, and Women in Mathematics. So, our first lovely lady is Miss Ada Lovelace, who was born in 1815 in London. Do you like playing on the computer or on your phone? Well, it's all thanks to Ada Lovelace, who was a brilliant mathematician and the first computer programmer. Without her, we may not have all of the amazing technology that we have and use today. Next, we have Miss Annie Jump Cannon, who was born in 1863 and was a revolutionary astronomer. Astronomers deal with objects in space like stars, planets, and space itself, and also the physical universe as a whole. Annie Jump Cannon revolutionized the classification of stars and manually charted over 350,000 stars in our skies. If you love stargazing in space, she's a wonderful role model to get excited about. Our next woman in STEM is Marie Curie, who was born in 1867. She was a brilliant physicist and was involved in pioneer research in radioactivity and cancer treatment. Radioactivity is the energy that tiny invisible particles radiate, which can be found all around you. There are different levels and exposures of radiation energy. Some can go unnoticeable and not affect you at all, and other higher levels can cause harm to you. Microwaves and medical x-rays are examples of types of radiation that you come into contact with in everyday life. Next we have Barbara McClintock. She was born in 1902 and was a prevalent scientist and cytogeneticist who won the Nobel Prize for Physiology and Medicine in 1983. Cytogenetics is a type of genetics research which deals with cell structure and function in living things. McClintock conducted essential research which discovered the ability of genes to transport over chromosomes. Genes are segments of DNA that carry information about your looks or characteristics that you inherited from your parents and chromosomes carry many genes within them. Moving on to these three icons, Katherine Johnson, Mary Jackson, and Dorothy Vaughn were three amazing women who worked for NASA as human computers to aid in the launching of the first American astronaut to orbit Earth. Mary Jackson was born in 1921 and was an aerospace engineer and mathematician who played a vital role in the development of the space program at NASA. Jackson mainly was involved with wind tunnels and flight experiments. She was also the first African-American female engineer to work at NASA and helped many other women and minorities advance in their careers. Katherine Johnson was born in 1918 and was a space scientist and mathematician who worked for NASA. She calculated key trajectories for the first American to orbit space and the first mission to the moon. In 2015, Johnson received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the United States. Dorothy Vaughn was born in 1910, and she worked as a mathematician and human computer at NASA. She was an expert in the programming and computer coding language used at the time. Vaughn also became the first black supervisor at NASA and was an advocate for women and minorities in her department. Next up, we have Radia Perlman, who was born in 1951 in Virginia, and she's still alive today. A brilliant computer programmer and network engineer, she's often known as the mother of internet and did fundamental work in helping to create the internet that we use today. 
Without her, we wouldn't be able to search on Google or even take classes online. You wouldn't even be able to watch this video right now. And last but certainly not least, we have Rosalind Franklin, born in 1920 and was a genius chemist and crystallographer who pioneered in DNA research. A crystallographer is a scientist who explores the structure and properties of crystals. DNA is the material in your body that carries all of the information of how every living thing will look like and function. You have lots of DNA inside of you. It's what decides the hair color and eye color you have, along with many other things. Rosalind Franklin discovered the density of DNA and also found out that the molecule existed in a helical formation. Here you can see exactly what she saw when she discovered the shape of DNA. How cool is that? Hi guys, it's me again, just in a different location. I just wanted to thank you all for learning a little bit about women in STEM with me, and I hope you found some amazing role models that'll inspire you to go into the sciences. Thank you, bye-bye.